So we love to keep you Indy know with our friends from Indy Parks. That's and right. they brought along a very special <laughs> guest with them today. Oh, they sure did. Welcome, Elizabeth and <laughs> Chumley over here. Now, Chumley actually is known in the area. Yes. And this is for a big story that was covered back in 2018. Yeah. So, Elizabeth from Garfield Park Conservatory, please introduce us to your friend. Sure, this is Chumley. She's one of our education animals from the conservatory. So, her claim to fame, other than being a, an escape artist when she escaped a few years ago and was returned <laughs> so kindly, um, but she also comes out for most of our school field trips. So, hopefully, there are some kids and parents out there who recognize Chumley because she um, usually comes out and helps us teach the kids about rainforest animals because she's a rainforest tortoise. Okay. So she's seen lots of kids, um, been touched by several hundreds of students yeah. throughout the city. Wow. Um, I have to ask, as uh, Chumley looks like she might be scoping out the uh, the area here for maybe another escape, yeah. how did she get out? It's a bit how of a mystery. Chum Chumley wow. Yeah, it's a bit of a mystery. We don't really know. I mean, the most logical guess is maybe a door got on propped open. Yeah. It was over Labor Day weekend um, a few years ago. So we're not totally sure, but we're very grateful that she made her way back to us. Yeah. We were just cracking up here because uh, when you guys told us, like, this was the, in fact, the escape artist, the turtle, the <laughs> Torius Chumley, we were all laughing. We were like, oh, that was a big story back in 2018. So now we're, Char Chumley's found her way back home. She has. And people mm -hmm. in the community can actually learn more about her and see all the programs you guys have going on. Yeah, yeah. So she doesn't live in an area where people can see her regularly, but we do have programs in which she comes out. Our next program is on um, July 6th. We have a critter chat at, that people can come and, and see some of our critters, and yeah. we have that again oh, later in July as that's well. That's so fun. Oh, I'm laughing at the bottom of the screen. It says, fun fact, Chumley's <laughs> top speed is two miles per hour. She's sneaky, independent, and bold. Yeah, she looks Do you guys want to see her eat? Oh she my gosh, I'd love She might eat for Are us, you kidding but, me? Yes. Yeah, is she, do you sense that she's hungry? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to know. She's like, I was just working for the past 20 minutes yeah. to get over there. So she really <laughs> likes, um, her diet is mostly green leaves, like what she would find in the forest walking around. Yeah. But yeah. kind of like her dessert or her treat, she loves red fruits and flowers. So really? We'll try to tempt her with some hibiscus flowers. Okay. You said she's a rainforest tortoise? Yeah, so she's a rainforest tortoise. Her um, species is a Brazilian red-footed tortoise. Oh. So she would normally live in Brazil. Okay. Um, she came to us because someone found her roaming around Eagle Creek Park. Oh, wow. Um, which is obviously not her native habitat. Yeah. So they found us and we have a good a good place to keep her and we can make yeah. her feel like she's in the rainforest. When that happens, is it typically a pet that's been let loose? That's my guess. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. As opposed I don't to her think, migrating I don't think Brazil. she walked from Brazil. I don't think so. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> she escaped once. I, I don't doubt her abilities. She, she can is do gobbling up that flower. She can uh, she can munch it face. down pretty quickly. Tortoises don't have teeth. They have a beak just like a bird. Okay. Um, and you can see her sometimes using her tongue to help her get her food in her mouth too. <laughs> I'm out of commission for the next 20, 30 seconds. I'm just, I'm just picturing I love this. Chumley's like scoping the room, thinking yeah. like, how can I get out of this studio? I love that she escaped. <laughs> hey, and seriously, if someone hasn't been to the conservatory it's down there so at Garfield right Park, there. what would you recommend? I so, mean, yeah, it's a beautiful it's place. It's a tropical rainforest in Indiana. We've yeah. got a, a 10,000 square foot greenhouse with lots of blooming tropical plants. And then yeah. this time of year, we also have a lot of outdoor gardens that people could come and visit and walk around as well. It's and so it's so fun. nice because the fact that you did rescue, you know, obviously, like you said, that wasn't her native mm -hmm. habitat. So the fact that you now have been able to give Chumley such a great home and you can now teach kids about her is so wonderful. Yeah. Gosh, Let's imagine. remind everybody, Elizabeth, how they can come and see all those upcoming events and programs. Sure, so they can check out our website, GarfieldGardensConservatory.org or IndyParks.org and you can see a lot of our upcoming programs. Like I said, we have two Critter Chats in July where people can come specifically to see the tortoise, but we have a lot of other awesome programs too. Oh, that's so great. Chumbly. And what's Chumbly's friend at the conservatory? Chumbly does have another tortoise friend named Proximo and it's a okay. desert oh, tortoise yeah. and she's actually even bigger than Chumbly. Wow. That's one reason why she didn't come with us today. Okay. But they bond like you can see. I mean, they hang out. They, they live out. in the same space. They talk about getting out. Yeah, getting they, I don't know. Maybe they get, get in cahoots with each other. Yeah. <laughs> Paint this town green. I love it. So much fun. Uh, Elizabeth, uh, thank you. And Chumbly, thank you. Elizabeth. Thank sure, you. No um, that was enlightening, thank you. compelling, and Keep rich. an eye on this turtle. Yeah, tortoise. Keep an eye on, oh, excuse me. Tortoise. Keep an eye on this tortoise. <laughs> Thanks so much, Elizabeth. Thank You're you, welcome. Elizabeth. Thanks.